Months after the coronavirus started, there's still some debate over what kind of face covering works the best. So I set out to ask the experts to see what they thought. There was a study out of Duke um, earlier this summer that basically measured how many respiratory droplets came through a whole variety of different types of face coverings. And the best for preventing respiratory droplets coming through were the N95 masks. Dr. Doug Nelson at Kalispell Regional Medical Center says, well, N95 masks work the best. Others, like neck buffs, may be as bad as not wearing anything. The worst were the or the polypropylene neck gaiters or buffs. And uh, this particular study, more respiratory droplets come through than if people weren't wearing anything at all. So I wanted to see for myself what worked better at stopping air particles from coming through, a face buff or a face mask. So I have two plates of pepper here and we'll see which one stirs more up. Dr. Nelson says that study out of Duke didn't examine different kinds of neck buff fabrics and their effectiveness, but only tested a single layer polyester neck buff. This was the result from using just the face buff. You can see all the pepper is now moved all over the plate. And this is the result from the face mask. Nothing really moved. He says the important thing is to wear a mask with multiple layers. Now fibers going in different directions. Uh, a respiratory droplet may be absorbed into the first layer, but then not pass through the second or third layers. Dr. Doug Nelson says if you can't get your hands on an N95 mask, the next best thing is a multi-layer surgical mask, then followed by a cotton mask with multiple layers as well. In Kalispell, Marin's Hugh, MTN News.